So good evening ladies and gents. I hope we are all doing well through this uh, through this weird time that we're going through. Literally just today it's been announced that Boris Johnson's got coronavirus so it's pretty mad to be fair. The guy that's setting all the rules has, uh, has broken but no it's, it's a lot more serious than I thought it'd actually turn out to be. Um, I know I got a lot of stick for the video where I went up to <coughs> Manchester. Um, now I understand everyone's like concerns and problems with that video it was a little bit irresponsible uh, but for the majority of the time we did just stay in our cars the only clip you saw was literally the only times we were out the car uh, and that was literally it apart from that we sat in two different cars and just chilled for a bit and watched uh, watched all the other people do their bits but no we're back down in nottingham now um that was filmed before the announcement came out uh, which isn't an excuse but it was advisory to stay at home uh, now it's more like you have to stay at home so i am home i'm staying at home not really doing much i'm not really sure what the rules and regulations are about going out going out and driving um because if i can do that then i'd really like to do a dad drives mps video and stuff like that um obviously i live with my dad so he's in the same household but anyway today what i uh decided to do is while we're not really allowed out the house and we've kind of got a house and the driveway as a fortress uh, i want to get a couple of bits done on the mps for those that watched the mps video where we uh, did a review on russ's red one um he actually i didn't know the, that you could do this i thought you had to buy a completely different grill he actually took his grill off and you can undo this black plastic little bit that comes can you just pull it off yeah, so he took this little bit off, which just looks a lot better. This little, like, I don't know, just looks a bit shit. So I'm going to take the bumper off, take this off, uh, and then I'm probably going to spray this plastic bit here in uh, gloss black. Now, I want to do the back, of the, the back of the car as well, where the diffuser is. Eventually, I do want to do it to this as well, but I'm not sure how this comes out, whether it unclips or you do have to take the whole back bumper off. So I'm gonna find out and uh, see what we can do with that. Yeah, a couple of video ideas for while we are on the lockdown, but nothing, uh, nothing too major. Yeah, a lot of you do want me to do the uh, like 24 hour overnight challenge in my car, self isolation kind of thing. So I'll probably end up doing that at some point, uh, which will be a bit of a laugh, but I'm hoping we've got a few bits coming um big shout out to wax and away he's uh he sent me a few products so i'm going to do a full wash detail uh on the car tar and glue remover the lot using wax and away's products a few of you guys requested to see that so uh yeah over this period i'm literally just gonna milk as much content as i can and make as much as i can for you boys to keep you entertained uh, now like i said before i did get a lot of hate on the uh, on the video where i went up to manchester i just feel like uh, with what i do i owe it to you guys to keep making videos and if that means putting myself at a little bit more risk then it's, it's a tough subject no one's ever been through this the country's never been through this but i just feel like it's my duty to keep making videos especially in a time like this where no one's really got nothing to do and a few of you do depend on watching my videos for entertainment so i'm just going to do what i can boys i apologize for how that video came across of us being very like obnoxious about it and not really giving a toss we're taking it very seriously both me and lee um like i said both at home now doing nothing but anyway let's go on to this video let's take the bumper off and well actually first i'm going to message um I'm gonna message Rush and, and see how he did it because if you don't have to take the bumper off and all I have to do is pull that off then that would be a uh, that would be kind of bad though because I won't really have much to film so I actually did forget to mention uh, I did film while I was down there but I couldn't really make a video out of it we did go to image window tinting and he quickly did tint the back lights which has made the uh, made the car look complete stealthy now on the back really happy I got that done so yeah I just want to give a massive shout out to image window tinting for uh, for doing that for me um, absolute legend simon um i'll put a link to his instagram and i'll put it on the screen now if you do want to get any bits sent out to you he is um he has stopped like working from his unit at the minute while this uh, lockdown's going on so if you do need any vinyl doing t-shirts printing stuff like that then uh, go drop image window tint and a follow but yeah let's get on with this video now enough of me rambling right shout out to russ he's just told me it is a bumper off job there's two screws behind it uh, which is fine because it makes for a longer video but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead whip the bumper off i've already started now and i've made sure i've got a much better container for all my bolts because last time i took the bumper off i put the container on here and the wind took it north so uh, i think that's north so yeah i'm just gonna take all the bolts out uh, get the bumper off and then i'll kind of show you what to do for any other people that have got an mps i'm assuming you already know about this but like i said tough time trying to make videos 
All right, so after losing all my washer fluid, which is uh, all good, um, yeah, this is what we're left with. So the screws are just here. There's one there, one there, and I think that's pretty much it. And then there's two like little plastic clips there. But like I said, I'm gonna try and take the whole thing out uh, so I can spray it. So yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Obviously, I'm gonna undo them screws and then it, the rest of it's literally just like these black little plastic clips that you just push down. So I'm gonna uh, crack on with that and see what, we can, uh, see what we can get done. So as far as I'm aware, that's literally, oh, sorted boys. Sorted boy. Oh, I've been killing some bugs like. It's not good for the uh, economy, bro. Right, let's have a look what that looks like. Oh, much better. Much, much, much better. Uh, now, obviously, I know I'm going to have to get the holes filled in, but for now, I think I'm just going to put my uh, stick my reg on that part to fill the holes. Now, uh, when I did go up to Manchester, uh, my stepsister actually does um, like smart repairs and bodywork. I'll put a link in the description and a little picture on screen now. So if you need anything done, Warrington area, she's mobile. Uh, if you need anything done, then definitely contact her. She's really good at what she does. So. Um, yeah, when we were up there, we were planning to get the holes filled because uh, if you don't actually know, no one's actually recognised this until I've told them. On the back of the car, if you look really closely, I've just put some white stickers over the holes. Same with up there, <laughs> exposing myself here just to cover the holes. That's where the Mazda logo went, Mazda badge, and that's where the Mazda actual logo went. So yeah, we were going to go there and get the holes filled, but. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it done to the front grill as well. So yeah, like I said, eventually I will get these all these holes filled in and uh, it probably coated again. But for now, uh, luckily I've got some plastic primer and um, some gloss black paint I ordered from Halford. So uh, we're gonna give it a coat of primer. Obviously we're gonna do that. I think I might just leave the grill for now because it will be a bit tedious to spray that. But um, yeah, like I said, the holes are gonna get filled in eventually so it will look a lot better. But it does look uh, far better without the, uh, without the like plastic bit that hold the number plate in. So yeah, I'm just gonna spray this uh, gloss black and then put the car back together and see what she looks like. I think it's gonna look really good to be fair. Also, I've, uh, I've took the front badge off as well because that's something that definitely needed doing. So I just gave that a quick coat of primer. Uh, the amount of people that told me to spray the front badge, uh, I'm finally doing it. It did look really, really weird in, uh, in silver though. Um, obviously, as you know, the back's completely debadged except the little J3 badge. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna give the, where's it gone? I'm just gonna give this a quick coat of uh, plastic primer spray it gloss black and uh, hopefully it looks all right Right, so that's pretty much the spraying done. I think these are going to look really, really good. The only thing I'm worried about, obviously, we've done the uh, we've done the Mazda badge and the like bar or whatever you want to call it, number plate holder. Only thing I'm worried about is I think I've run out of double-sided tape, so I'm going to have to uh, have a quick look for some of that. If not, I think my dad's got some somewhere. I'll have to give him a call, but just to uh, just to stick the reg back on. And yeah, we're going to wait for that to dry, put it all back together, and. Uh, see what she looks like i would say take it for a spin uh, i don't know why people do that that's just a that's just a thing once you've finished working on your car you just want to take it for a spin even if it's nothing different with the with the actual car uh so don't think i'm going to be doing that anyway because uh yeah i'm staying home oh sweet no one stole my bumper cheers boys right i think we should start putting it back together i think look at that i tell you what I'm in the wrong profession, mate. You wouldn't even know it's been sprayed, but yeah, you fucking would. Let's put it back together then. Just really quick as well. Just uh, just read this comment on the on my most recent video, uh, and there you can read it there for yourselves. Uh, pretty much saying that he used to not really like my videos and never really be a fan or whatever, and uh, he actually gave me some shit about my uh, about my old Corsa. But he's just said like uh, recently. Obviously, I've been a bit more open about my situation and what's going on and stuff like that. And he's just put. Uh, it's just good to see me putting the effort into the videos, even though it's hard for me to make them at the minute. And I just want to say. Um, 
I'm just the exact same as any other person on this planet. Just because I pick a camera up and film myself doing some pointless shit doesn't make me no difference to anyone else. I still have to go to work and earn money. Uh, well, I'm trying to. Uh, and, and yeah, it's just nice to see people uh, understand that as well. I, I do it as well. I watch some YouTubers and think, oh, they've got all the money in the world if they're doing YouTube. They've got this, they've got that. They can do this, they can do that. It's not the case. I never thought I'd be in the position I'm an, I am in now with 40,000 plus subscribers. That to me is unreal. Like I was a big fan of YouTubers that have less subscribers than that. And for me to adjust to it all uh, has been really easy because I just do nothing different to then I first started. And I can guarantee that even if I had 10 subscribers, I'd still enjoy making these videos of me just mucking around. But no, I really respect that comment, mate. Thank you very much uh, for the support. But yeah, really, really appreciate that. Anyway, we've put the Mazda badge back on. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh. Yes, that's a lot better. That's a lot stealthier. Love it, you naughty little slut. Right, let's have a look at her. Never looks as good on the floor as it does on the car, but... Oh, absolute massive difference, to be honest. Much better, much better. Like I said, the holes do look a bit naff. Uh, but there's not really much I can do at the minute. Like I said, I might put some tape over the holes uh, for now. But I'm hoping, actually, let's find out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping my reg will just cover, which it does. It just covers all the holes except that one and that one. So, might put a bit of tape over that. But yeah, luckily, it just covers the holes and I've found some tape. So, uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's so much better. Let's, uh... Let's get it back on the car. Oh, I saw one thing I won't give Mazda is getting that bumper on is a bit of a dick, but we're on and it looks pretty sick to be fair. Look at that, boys. Might not look massively different, but in person, obviously the number plate doesn't come out of the uh, out of the grill anymore. Mazda badge fits in now. It's just looking a lot more aggressive. I'm going to try and get some eyelids as well for these lights because I think that'll fit in nice. And uh, yeah, a couple of bit. I'm debating getting like that these like washer things done in black i might fill this in with black at some point like the, the actual grill part uh and just some some other bits i want to tint the front lights as well just do some uh, some cheap fun bits while we're uh, while we're in this lockdown but so i'm just going to uh go for a quick spin because for any of you that don't know if you've got an mps and you take your like unplug your washer fluid things for the wipers uh, it actually froze a little code on the dashboard and i was really falling out with the car let me tidy away i'll show you what i mean yeah so uh hold on naughty button so that's the little icon that i meant just that one there the little washer warning fluid top up kind of light thing uh, that does come on because obviously i've unplugged i unplugged the um the hoses for the for the light what Yeah, that's obviously on because I unplugged the hoses for the um, light washers or light squirters or whatever you want to call them, and obviously I lost a load of um, lost a load of uh, washer fluid. So literally, if you just take the car around the block and drive it for a little bit, that should go off and obviously adjust. It might not this time because I, I might need to top it up um, because it's got like a float in it where the sensor is. But I'm going to take it around the block. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to top it up and I'll, I'll sort that out another time. But yeah, hopefully it just uh, just comes off. Oh, sorted. Just top your washer fluid up and the light goes off. Yeah, so completely forgot to do an outro like an absolute tit. But anyway, I think I'm going to jump out on the driveway again tomorrow and try and get the rear like diffuser part off, uh, mask all that off, and spray that gloss black as well because turned out really really well uh, turned out a lot better than I thought but yeah I'm just going to try and do as many little bits like this as I can uh, over the period of time that we've got uh, on this lockdown thing so yeah hope you do uh, enjoy these kind of videos and uh, yeah I'll be filming again tomorrow so I'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>